What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going back to work on the Mustang RTR Spec 2. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The 18 to 21 Mustang bumper is back in the garage. Finished in our, ooh, what is this? Is that dog slobber? That better just be slobber. That better not be actual scratches. Okay, that's coming right out. Whew, I let it sit outside for like a second and I started freaking out that it's already damaged. So it's back, it's in Grabber Blue. It looks amazing. We had it on the car for a little bit and uh, again, it's a whole lot of blue. So what we're gonna be doing with this thing today is breaking up a little bit of that blue by installing all of our RTR goodies that we have around here. We're gonna be installing the chin splitter, we're gonna be installing the lower grill, the upper grill, the LED lights, and the painful to your knuckles RTR front bumper vent. So I have everything laid out here and I have this camera set up. So we're gonna bounce back and forth between the phone and the tripod as I'm filming some other stuff for some other projects that I have working right here. So just so you know, this video isn't gonna be a complete walkthrough on how to do the installation. It'll kind of be a quick overview, but trust me, I will be having detailed videos coming out very, very, very soon but they won't be on my channel. Perhaps they'll be on somebody else's, but wait, what? The installation of the lower grill here is pretty simple. Once you have the bumper off, all you're gonna do is take this, pop it in over these tabs right here, and then just kind of press it into place and everything else takes care of itself. It's kind of got uh, clips from the factory built into it that'll latch on to uh, the little tabs they have here on the back of the RTR lower grill and just hold it in place. It's really, really simple. The hardest part of installing this and the upper grill is really just getting the bumper off. Like I said, installation on this piece is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is pop it back into the stock clips that you have along here. So once that's done, I just kind of like to go through and check to make sure all these little notches here are back over the edge of the grill. And then I walk around front and I go ahead and I make sure that uh, everything is lined up the way that it needs to. So it looks good up front. And can I say, she like engaged. I guess since we have that up, I could go to the upper grill. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do the upper grill. Uh, for the upper grill, the RTR grill doesn't come with these holes drilled for your RTR upper LEDs. So you are gonna have to drill those out. Um, I think it's a one fourth drill bit, but uh, don't quote me on that. Actually do quote me on that. It's a one fourth drill bit. So I got this vent in. I will let you know when building an RTR vehicle or any of the parts that are available through rtrvehicles.com, all of them look sick. And I love the way these look on the car. This is the biggest pain in the butt to put in. We have done, we've done a full car, right? We've done all the body mods. We've done the upper grills, everything. We've pulled an engine out of the car. We've done suspension. That sucks the most. Mm, but the suspension springs really suck. With the pro bar and me like sitting on it, just sitting on it, and then we would run away when it would snap. Well, that's worse. We did it in the August heat of Houston. Yeah, and we were trying to do it the easy way. Had we done it the right way, it wouldn't have been that hard. But this, this sucks. There's no easy way. When putting in the bumper vents, I see that there is a run in the paint, which sucks. It's right below the, the turn signal, right in front of the bumper vent. I'm not really sure if anybody would notice it, but I have now noticed it. I know I'm not gonna be able to unsee it. So I'm gonna leave this section alone. Anybody that is able to paint should be able to fix that with everything else in here. Um, as long as I don't put the bumper vent and turn signal there and just leave it to this area. They should be able to just fix this one spot, I'm hoping. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I should probably just stop doing everything I'm doing right now. But again, as we all know, I'm impatient and this is just how we're gonna have to handle it. Moving on to the upper grill here. These holes here for your RTR triangle lights or whatever we have, I think they're pentagons now, but uh, these holes aren't drilled, so you gotta drill them. If you look, there's a little notch right here. What you're gonna have to do is set your quarter inch drill bit right up in that little notch and drill out there. There's three of them on each side, so six in total. Pretty easy to do, so we're gonna knock that out real quick. Here's the upper grill in place with everything popped in and the holes drilled out. She's looking so nice. And it's breaking up all that freaking blue. Uh, we gotta put on the lip next. And I'm gonna hold off on the light since we do have to take it 
into the shop to get that spot fixed. Definitely gonna hold off on the lights. I don't wanna put it in there, have the boxes and everything dangle around and something get damaged because then that will piss me off. Putting the RTR lower chin splitter here on the car right now. This again is really easy once you have the bumper off. Uh, once you get your stock chin spoiler off, you're gonna take, I don't even think you can see them from this way, but you have all your little speed clips that your bumper uses to attach your chin splitter to. You're gonna transfer those over to the RTR splitter all the way along the bottom. There's like 10 of them. And you have these three little push clips in each corner. You're gonna transfer all that stuff over to the new RTR splitter. And then you're gonna use these little dowel looking things here. There's three of them along here somewhere. And you're gonna use that to help line everything up, push it in place, and then just start using your stock hardware to put it back down. And like that, you got a chin splitter in place. So. Funny story, when installing the chin on this, I was missing one of the speed clips. I couldn't find it, started looking around, and then I found a bag marked front bumper. All the parts that I put into this were the wrong parts, so now I have to remove everything and replace it with the correct hardware. Fantastic. The final thing we're gonna do for this week's install is the rear quarters. They're gonna go right down along here. I had them on the previous bumper, but uh, since I went with that stuff, I uh, had to get some new ones. I do have the original side splitters right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get underneath there. All you have to do for this is just clean the underside of that section right there on the side, use some alcohol, then use your adhesive promoter, and then stick this in place, put your stock push pins in there and then you're going to drill out two holes on each one is quarter inch and then you're going to put in the new rtr hardware in there to secure those up so i'm going to slide underneath there start cleaning this up and then we'll get these in place rtr quarter splitters are on as i believe i said kind of pre-game in this these holes right here you have to drill those ones right there with the quarter inch drill bit and that just added extra security because we have these ones right here that are stock. So those two there are added and these two are stock. I just like pointing at stuff. It makes me feel like a teacher. Everything underneath here is pretty golden right now. We do still need to fix the brackets on here because as you guys recall, this is not actually an 18 to 20. <gasps> oh my goodness. So this bracket in here somewhere that used to hold uh, the bumper in place for my 15 to 17 doesn't mat up. The only reason we haven't fixed that yet is because I still need to get this reverse light in and I wanna be able to access this pretty easily and not really have to worry about anything. So once we finally get our reverse light and then also to these freaking reverse things, once we get that in place, we'll uh, secure this all down and we'll be good to go. But until then, um, I think we're done. We're gonna go ahead and drop her down. Eh. Ah! That was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. That does it for this week's video. We got a lot done here with the RTR Mustang Spec 2, and we're looking to get the whole thing finished up, version two, starting uh, next video. Because the hood, by the time you guys watch this, is gonna be in the paint shop. We're gonna be taking back the front bumper to get that little mishap fixed. So hopefully all that'll be back, then we'll be able to do the LED inserts, finish up the bumper insert, and then once the hood gets back from paint, then we can do the hood inserts on that thing. And spec two conversion to 2018, 2021 will be done. We are going to be ordering the spec five fender flares probably in about two weeks. And then it'll take probably about a week for it to get here. We do have the seats on order, I promise, but they have to get specially made. So those are on the way as well. And then all we have left to do from what I want to get done at that point, see if we can find some Brembo brakes for this thing, put a half cage in the back and convert it over to digital dash. 
So those are all kind of wants. Those aren't needs. So everything will be ready to go. And I'm really, really happy. We still have some stuff left to do with the BMW. Um, we will get back to the BMW. When I first started working on the BMW with Drew, that was one of our biggest videos when we did the dual caliper brakes conversion. But uh, then it dropped off. I thought this would be a good content getter. But nobody really seems to like it. Nobody really seems to be asking any questions about it. So we need to make sure that we're getting back to what people like to watch. So that's going to be finishing up this, then moving on to the F-150 out there. So once we get on the F-150, that'll go pretty quick. So then that way we can get moving on to, if you can see back there underneath all that, is the Mini Cooper. But I know that you guys will enjoy that one. So let's finish up spec two, get on to F-150 and we'll be good to go. So thank you guys very much for tuning in to this episode. If you guys liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. It lets us know that, uh, hey, you like what we're doing and we should continue doing it. I'm gonna continue doing it whether or not you like it or not, but hey man, that's just me. I like to have viewers though. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and give us a uh, subscribe, follow us, hit that subscribe button, and then hit the bell notification so you know every time we post, which is Mondays and Thursdays typically. So thank you guys once again, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.